Miriam Ghani, you have no idea. You have no idea, Miriam Ghani. contest chair. You're welcome. Have you ever felt like your parents and you come from different planets? <laughs> My father and I, different galaxies. We speak different languages. He speaks Arabic, I speak millennial. He speaks safety and certainty. I speak freedom and fun. Picture a tall ex-military, but extra caring, with extra high pants. <laughs> That's my father, Sammy. Are you familiar with helicopter parents? My dad is an Iraqi drone. <sighs> Mimi. Come back home. The closer he hovered, the further I escaped. When I was three, on family vacation, the moment we got to the hotel, I sprinted straight to the open elevator doors, the silver gates of freedom. Dad flipped the hotel upside down to find me, and he found me. Sitting with kind strangers, eating their pistachios. <laughs> I mean, who needs parents when you've got pistachios? <laughs> Mimi, never do this again. You have no idea how much I love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> When I was 16, I went ice skating for the first time. Dad stopped me at the door. Mimi, please be careful. This ice, it is very dangerous. If you fall, you're gonna die. <laughs> but the teen in me was determined. No, you just wanna stop me from living my life. You're always in my way. <sighs> Mimi, come back home. You have no idea how much I love you. When I was 21, I was told I was losing my eyesight. That day, dad asked the doctor, doctor, can I please give her my eyes? It was the first time I had ever seen my military father cry. I had no idea how much he loved me. I grew up, dad grew older, and we grew apart. I used my diagnosis to chase the freedom I craved. I wanted to see the world before losing my sight. But wherever I went, something was missing, calling. Miriam, come back home. And I did go back home this year when dad's progressing Parkinson's landed him in hospital. I sat by his bedside and gently held his frail hands. Every part of me wished I could take away his disease. Dad, Baba, remember when you asked the doc, can I give her my eyes? Why did you say that? Mimi, you really have no idea how much I love you. And for the first time, dad told me stories about his past, my past. When you were just a year old during the war in Iraq, 
I guarded the door all night to protect you. And even today, I would still protect you. So, would you still give me your eyes? <laughs> and how do I get around? <laughs> Dad, <laughs> Mimi, you don't need them anymore. But I do. So I can keep seeing you growing into the brave daughter you have become. I am proud of you. I've never felt so free being home. Baba, you have no idea how much I love you. Although my father and I come from different galaxies, after 33 years, we finally spoke the same language. I may have lost my sight, but dad gave me insight on how to live, how to love unconditionally. He taught me that no matter what language you speak, there is one that is universally understood, one that unites nations, friends, families. That's the language of the heart. How would this world be if we all spoke that language? If we all loved like Sami? You have no idea 